Hey, what's happening everybody? This is Dealer back with another Modern Era G.I. Joe video. And tonight we're going to be looking at the infantry kind of troop builder offering from this year's show and the bonus item for attending. So here we have the Laser Viper. And here we have the Cobra Law Battle Station. Which really, it looks like a reuse of... Uh, there was a place that, that came out, except this it was used for GI Joe. So this is this nothing new here. Um, it's reused parts, but you know, as is with the tradition in these videos. Um, let's see if we can't get it open. Where is here? It, here she is, old oh, faithful. That's what I'm gonna do. We'll take this, make sure my appendages are, are clear, free and clear. I'm just going to just drag the blade across, get it opened up. That's the packaging. Toss that to the side. And here we have a piece of tape holding this all together. We have it. So, bring this bad boy up. So then we'll take a look here. So that's what it looks like. Um, and it looks, that actually looks pretty good. I'll tell you the truth, uh, Cobra symbol is tampoed on nice. You got a nice beware of blast. Like this stuff is just, I like that. I definitely like that approach. And, Full swivel here. Oh wow. Okay, maybe not. Maybe that has to be at an angle like that. Um I like that this I like that wow. Those those don't feel like stickers, those feel like those are actually tampoed on there. And that looks man, that looks that actually looks really good. Holy smokes. Got a nice wear eye protection when using laser warning. There, wow, the paint in here looks really, really good. Um, really good. Some, some nice silver here over the, the metal plating and it gives it that Wow, this has a really polished look to it for a, yeah, this, you know, for what this is, that's actually pretty nice. I can't, nothing, nothing too terrible to say about that, except it looks better than what I thought it was going to. So that's, that's a plus. And here we have just, <coughs> excuse me, for sake of this video, I just happen to have old blocker and you know, it, you know, so since there's leg room underneath there, I should be able to hold a figure and we'll, we'll take a look at how the Laser Viper um, mans this here at the conclusion of the video. So I'll go ahead and get the Laser Viper geared up, put on the stand, and we'll come back and we'll take a look at that figure. All right, so here he is, and that's pretty much all he comes with is his little laser rifle that we saw with Sci-Fi the backpack that it plugs into, and a little pistol that hangs off his side, similar to the uh, one that the Laser Viper officer came with. Here are these guys' file cards. So I'll hold that there for a sec so you can get the full read in. And I think that looks good. All right, so moving on to the figure here. Go ahead and just... Move this off to the side, get him off the stand, get him decommissioned, and look at what he comes with. So, that, ladies and gentlemen, is the full accessory set. And again, looks like that's reused from the uh, 30th anniversary sci fi, I believe. But it still looks good nonetheless. Then he comes with, whoopsie a helmet 
and that looks good. Nice, uh, so cast in gray, blue along the decor here, and then black for the visor, and I think that looks pretty clean. And then it should also be noted that he comes with that same little Iron Grenadier, Techno Viper, whatever pistol. Um, so, so this is him. Same exact uh, getup as the Laser Viper officer, except he's in a lighter gray. He has, he has light blue paint apps. He's got a nice uh, Cobra insignia painted in there as well. The blue, where it is applied, does look excellent. This figure just looks really simple recipe but just it's just one of those things that just comes good comes good together or i should say comes together good um given the use of parts so again articulation wise nothing uh he, did, he has the standard 25th you got the double joint it flares out because of how the the cat the pieces were cast um, suffers from that little bit of arm and I don't know how good that um, shows through on camera but it, it just I don't know I don't know if it's me but the arms do look a tad these look a tad disproportionate to this but that could just be me so for articulation you get up to there full 360 degree rotation the joints You almost get the full 90 there. Does not have the updated uh, the updated wrist articulation that we've seen with some of the newer offerings, unfortunately. Um, nice silver paint there. Again, blue paint looks good where it's applied. And I mean, that's pretty much this guy. So uh, let me grab and see if I can't get into frame. This bad boy here will come, come out, come back in. Let's see how he mans the battle station. All right. So it looks pretty good, actually. That actually looks, actually looks really good. Wow, maybe I should have bought a couple of more of these when I was at the show. Hmm. I was not aware that I was going to like that as much as I do. Um, are these good pieces to add to your collection? Yeah, most definitely. Uh, I would even say given the secondary market price, uh, if you're going to jump on it, jump on it while the prices are, are what they are. Because you never know. They could go, they could remain the same. They could go down. Chances are they'll probably go up because first new uh, Joe product we've seen in a while. So yeah, so that's it for this video. If you like what you see, go ahead and subscribe. It's free. Um, doesn't cost you anything. Plenty more videos on the way. We got we still have a lot of stuff to talk about. Um, so yeah, so that's it for this video. Till next time, hope y'all take care. Catch y'all on the flip side. Thanks a lot.